Canadian Heritage Minister St Stephen Guilbeault says he has now amended his legislation to protect free speech and address Canadians' concerns. Minister Guilbeault joins me now. Minister Guilbeault, thanks for taking the time. My pleasure. In the simplest possible language, because this stuff gets very complex with the CRTC and all that, but in the simplest possible language, uh, persuade me and tell me what measures you have introduced or will introduce in your bill to prevent me, if I post something, say on YouTube, prevent my content from now being regulated or scrutinized by the CRTC? Well, this was never the case. I mean, th this idea that somehow the CRTC, which has regulated broadcasting in Canada for decades, but has never said, has never, has never told CPAC or the CBC or CTV, oh, you can do this program, but you can't do that program. That, that's not what the CRTC does. And, that, and, and, and Bill C-10 is not about that. Bill C-10 is about ensuring that some of the wealthiest companies in the world, like, like YouTube and, and Netflix and Disney, pay their fair share when it comes to can, investing in our culture, investing in Canadian artists and, and, and musicians, it has nothing to do with, with content. And, and, and obviously, I mean, in the bill right now, even before the Conservatives started, started obstructing the progress, there, there are a number of clauses in that bill that say that in, individuals will not be subjected to the to, 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 to this act, that the act has to res has to respect freedom of speech, freedom of journalism, freedom of creation. These are all elements that are that are, that are there and that have been and that have been voted on by all members of, okay, of, well, uh, of the committee. Okay, well, clarify for me then. So, what is the concern about user generated content? Uh, there was a clause saying that that would not be touched. That clause was removed. The the groundswell of concern is about something called user generated content. People posting things. If I post something that's described uh, as, as a program, if I post it. Uh, you're saying there's never going to be any scrutiny, uh, any, anything not. that will affect that? No, I think I think the concern is that there are people who, who believe that there should be no laws when it comes to the internet. We should not regulate Facebook or YouTube or or Google, whether it's on uh, for, for to ensure that they, they they pay their fair share on on cultural uh, on cultural content, or uh, that um, when it comes to hate speech and then incitement to violence and terrorism, we we see how what what happens if there's no control what in the U.S. on Capitol Hill on on January 6. And and th so those I I see those I, I you know I see. I recognize that this is a position that people have. I disagree with it. I think that there needs to be regulation for 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 these web giants, just like we have regulations. Right, right. For, no, for we're not. We're every not, right. other kinds of okay, but uh, we're not industry. Yeah. Oh no, that's granted, and we all agree. We're agreeing on the basic principles, but why? No, I don't think so. No, I mean, but, I, a lot of people okay, but who no, are I'm, I'm in terms of my question, are, though. In terms of my question, though, you've clarified saying you want to, you're going to make it. Your changes are going to make it crystal clear that no, no, it's only, only, there only the commercial content so, would be. Uh, commercial content would be the only thing regulated, and yet we have this concern about self-generated content. So you're, you're saying that all of these concerns that have been expressed by experts are unfounded? Well, there's been, they've been, those experts that have spoken um, are, are the, those type of people that believe that there should be no regulations on the, on the internet. There's been, there've been a number of experts just today, um, two, two law professors, uh, broadcasting experts, uh, half of the Yale panel that, that actually did the consultations over two years to what led us to, to, to propose Bill C-10 uh, came out in support of, uh, of it. Uh, we've seen, um, Artistic cultural organization, musicians guild, independent producers, writers guild come out in, in support of, of, of Bill of Bill C10. There, there's a lot of support for, for Bill C10, and there are those people who, who don't think we should be doing that. Well, so why then the change three weeks ago when your Liberal Parliamentary Secretary introduced this change, which removed, there was a clause that said self-generated content, self -gen self things that are posted by individuals would not be touched or affected by this legislation. That was removed, and hence the concern by individuals saying, if you're removing that, then it would leave things open for self-generated, self-posted content to be regulated eventually or potentially. Uh, you're saying, and, and you've even responded to it by saying, no, I, I'm gonna make it crystal clear with changes to the act that that won't happen. So you're saying this is all now a creation of people's unrealistic well, I mean, so so. Your first question is why remove it? The well, because that was it was removed too, three weeks ago. Yeah, it was it was too broad, um, and it would have excluded uh, YouTube from from the legislation. And we don't think YouTube today is the largest distributor of music in Canada. 
and 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 they make a lot of money out of it and we think that just like any other canadian broadcasters music stations tv stations they should be investing some of the revenues they generate in canada in our musicians in our creators um and and, and as i said you know if you, if you only look at one and say oh my god you know this everything is not in this bill then all of a sudden all these things are possible you're missing the point i mean right. obviously there are a number of other elements in in the bill that protect free speech that exclude individuals from from from, from the crtc regulation that 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 ensure that the crtc powers are are defined it's not because it's not in one article that it's not it's not in the bill. Uh, instead of talking about one article, we should be looking right. at, at, at okay. the bill. So yeah. you're saying that there's no, there's no situation in which if an individual posts something on YouTube, which is a very common way for individuals to share musical productions, for example, that individual would never uh, be in any way subject to any criteria of the uh, CRTC? I'm saying... Absolutely not. Okay. Now let's talk about the uh, support for your bill. There's the amendments. It's in the amendment stage. Uh, the Conservatives have called for you to pull this bill. Uh, it would appear that the majority of, of opposition parties aren't ready to support the bill as, as it is. How are you going to get it through uh, through the committee and through the House? Actually, uh, both the NDP and the Bloc are on record saying that they supported the bill. Right, but the, they're calling the for a charter review now. They won't go further unless there's a charter review of it. There, there, there was a charter review uh, by by the Department of uh, of Justice that 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 was done uh, of 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 this bill, and and there is I mean there as you know you know committee make they make proposal they amend them they amendment they they debate so what what we're seeing right now is is one party the Conservative Party who even even before made itself the bill made it made it to the committee said that they would vote against it in fact they they they, they stood in the house and 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 before the study of the bill even started. They they, they, they asked for the bill to be scrapped. So they don't want this bill. They've never wanted this bill. They've been very clear from the beginning. And now they're filibustering and they're trying to prevent the rest of us from okay. moving forward. And, 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 and by doing so, depriving artists and creators in Canada of hundreds of millions of dollars that would be invested by the web giants. Okay, on that, note, on that note, we'll have to wrap it up. But we will watch this with great interest. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you, Martin.